Hello, welcome to Tim's Travel Time. I'm Tim LePage. We take you to spectacular places in very special ways. Our journey today takes us to Ethiopia, on the Omo River in southern Ethiopia, which runs all the way down into Lake Turkana in northern Kenya. Our journey was to visit and study some of the ancient rituals and practices of the tribes there that are pretty much unchanged for hundreds of years. Our visitor today is well-known Park City resident, Lin Fei. Thanks, well, you joined us on an expedition. I told you it was going to be a no-winers expedition. And uh, what were your expectations? It was hard to have expectations for something that you was, was going to be such a unique, different trip. And your uh, explanation that we were it's really a cultural trip, that we were going to be seeing tribes and ceremonies of tribes, um, well, we more than lived up to our expectations. Um, it was so different from any of the other safaris I've taken. One fabulous one with you, with our whole family, in Kenya and Tanzania. Um, that trip was certainly more luxurious, fabulous flying safari. This was take your own, pitch your own tent, take it down, put in your own bed. Um, we didn't have the luxuries you normally have, but it was the most exciting trip I've ever taken in my life. And I think my daughter Caroline, who went with me, would say the same thing. It was quite a graduation present. So yes. how, was, how was it to share that with, with your daughter? Oh, it was wonderful to share it with her, because we're both uh, immersed in a uh, culture that uh, n neither of us were prepared for. And, and uh, to be part of these ceremonies, to meet the people and the tribes to uh, just experience um, the children, the women, the men, the, the environment. Uh, it was amazing. So we walked into that uh, evening at the Cairo tribe mm -hmm. near Deuce and the impact of the light and the color and the noise is quite a spectacular thing to oh. remember, isn't it? Yes, it was amazing. It was all the music and the people are jumping up and dancing and they're there are like bells or something on the bottom of their skirts, and they were the goat skirts, and they were clanging, and uh, the men were all painted in body paint and different designs, and um, the women had on their jewelry, and they were, first the men were all dancing and uh, all around us, and the sound and the light and the, just being there was uh, better than National Geographic, I can tell you. Did you find it overpowering? Um, well, in a way, it was overpowering at first because it was our first real introduction. Uh, we saw five different cultures, and this was the first one, the Caro. I think they went all out because our guide was from their particular tribe, and so they welcomed us as warmly as they would welcome any emissary. The Mosi and the Sorma are the two tribes that wear the, the lip dishes. Mm -hmm. We've all seen those on National Geographic, but when you actually... Oh see it for yourself. It's, it's an extraordinary experience. It was extraordinary. I remember when I was young and I saw a woman, a Mercy woman, with her lip plate in on the cover of a National Geographic and I remember thinking, ah, oh, where are those people? Where do they live? And even later, after I'd gone to Africa and I'd been in the North, East and West, Africa, and I had been in northern Ethiopia, I'd never been in this remote area, I didn't really realize that so many of the cultures and the tribes that we see in National Geographic are in this southwest corner of Ethiopia called the Omo River Valley. Uh, it was, you know, truly like uh, something I couldn't imagine seeing. Yes, of course, we were there at high water time, so we were privileged mm -hmm. to be using special high-speed powerboats to get right. up to visit remote villages that most other people never see. Well, thank you for joining us, Lynn. Thank you, Tim. Well, it was a fabulous, thrilling trip, and I'm delighted to have been on it and delighted to have been here today. Stay tuned for another exciting adventure on Tim's Travel Time on Park City Television.